the bell icon to turn on notifications. In the first lesson of this section, I showed you how you can very easily start an ad hoc audio or video meeting from a Teams channel. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at how you can schedule a meeting. So this would be for meetings that you've planned ahead of time. And you can schedule a meeting from a couple of different areas within Teams. So if you're currently working in a channel and I'm currently clicked in the Northwind Traders Team General Channel, if we jump up to the meet button in the top corner and click the drop down arrow, the second option we have here is to schedule a meeting. And this opens up the new meeting window and we can now go in and add the details of this meeting. So let's just give this a name. So this is going to be a project meeting. I can add any required attendees. So let's add uh, Adriana and I'm also going to add Jen as well. I can then set the time. So let's set this for tomorrow. So June the 3rd and we're going to do this meeting at 10.30 a.m to 11.30 a.m. Now, if this was something like a weekly meeting, I could set a recurrence just here, daily, weekly, monthly, or even a custom recurrence. This is just going to be a one off though. So I'm going to leave this on does not repeat. Now, the next field deals with team channels. Now, because I'm scheduling this meeting from directly within the Northwind Traders general channel, it's already added this channel to this field. You'll notice in a moment if we decide to schedule a meeting from the calendar, because we're not actually in a channel, this field will be blank, but we do have the option of also adding the meeting to a channel. We can then go in and type in the details of the meeting. I'm just going to leave that blank for now. And once we're done, all we need to do is click on the send button to send that out to the other participants. And what you'll see is that meeting is now logged in the general channel in the Northwind Traders team. And if I want to view it, I can simply click on it and it's going to take me back into those meeting details. Now, what you'll see once I go back into this meeting is that a few things have changed. So now I have a cancel meeting button at the top. I can copy the link to this meeting and maybe send it to other participants or post it in a channel. And you can see that in the main body of the email, I now have a link. So when both Adriana and Jen receive this meeting, they're going to get an email and it's also going to notify them within Teams. When it comes time to join this meeting, they can simply click on the link. So very simple to schedule a meeting directly from within a Teams channel. Let's now jump across to our Teams calendar and you'll see if I scroll up to 1030, there is the meeting that I've just created sitting in my calendar. And of course, when it comes time to join this meeting, I could just click to open and then I have a join button just here. Now, as I mentioned, you can also schedule directly from your calendar. So let's say I want to schedule another meeting for Friday at 1 p.m. In the top right hand corner, I have a new meeting button. I'm going to say this is a lunch meeting. I can again go through and add the required attendees. I can set the date and also the time. So let's do this at uh, 12.30 to 1.30. This time I'm going to say that this does repeat and we're going to repeat this weekly. But notice that underneath it's not posting directly to any channel at the moment because I'm creating this from my calendar. But if I wanted to, I could go in here and when I click, it's going to show me all of my different teams. I'm going to expand social committee and then I can choose a channel. So let's just say general. I can then add my meeting details, click on send, and that invite is going to go out to those participants as well. So because I've set this up as a recurring meeting, if I click the drop down and go to, let's say next week, you'll see that that lunch meeting is in there as well. Now if we jump back to our teams, and this time let's go to the social committee general channel. You'll see that because I selected this particular channel to post the meeting to, it's sitting just there. And when it comes time to join, I can simply open up and I have a join button in the top corner. So very simple to schedule meetings ahead of time in Teams. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project and Photoshop, click over there and click over there 
to see more videos from Simon Says It.